Hi church, nice to see you today. I pray you're doing well. I've been wanting to record something for us for the last couple of days, but things get a little busy trying to do all the things we need to do. I didn't see many of you on Sunday for a very, very, very good reason. Uh, a lot of you uh, attended a wedding. The joy of church family. Uh, family is a word that uh, evolves. Uh, a single person is a family. A widower is a family. Empty nesters, those with some, few, or lots of kids, that's a family as well. Those who have never been able to have kids, that's a family. God puts families together. And what a good thing that is. God's wisdom is far beyond ours. So the church family was able to be together. We gathered here for our Reformation Day service. While others in our family were together in another part of the country. I'm so very thankful for those opportunities. Thankful for safe travel, for joy during the event, and for now getting back to life. After church on Sunday morning, I took off for a pastor's conference. It was a good conference. I got to drive through Tightwad, Missouri, which it would seem to me would be the great place for Lutherans to settle when they came to America. But history says they settled in Altenburg and Frona and Wittenberg and Perry County. But Tightwad, Missouri sort of sounds like a place for German Lutherans to go. Pastor's Conference was about family. Gender identity, marriage, cohabitation, issues that the church needs to speak the truth on. Issues that the church needs to deal lovingly with. Not with condemnation, but with gentleness, with truth with keeping an eye on the long-term goal. Now if I can back up just a bit to kind of bring this message to a close. Reformation Day was the day that the church reforms around the word. It's not about Luther, Melanchthon, Bugenhagen, Chemnitz, Jonas, Robert Barnes, Calvin, Swingley, all the others. It's about the church. It's about God's church. God apostrophe S. The church belongs to him. And there are times when we need to reform. Maybe you're in the military, in a marching band, a parade. Sometimes you had to dress the ranks. Lines get out of shape, they get crooked, and you dress the rank, you straighten the lines, you reform. We reform again and forever, keeping Jesus at the center. God's church is Christocentric, Christ-centered, and what a great delight. 499 years of reforming. October 31st, 2017, the 500th anniversary, but we're just getting started. We live in the here, the now. We live in the is. We don't know what will come. My brothers and sisters, I think what's going to be coming is very hard, very challenging. But we will continue to reform around the word. 
by keeping the word of the center that leads to the great joy of the day after Reformation Day. All saints. That's your day. It's for those who have died in the faith and fully claim the title of saint within your baptism. When God washes you, when God's word is connected to that water and that water is made into a holy washing and you are swept into the family of God, you're called a saint, a holy one. We celebrate all saints. We remember those who have died in the faith. We pray that their memory may be perpetual and that God's light would shine upon them as they rest from their labors and await the same day that you and I are waiting for. When Christ shall come, call us by name and raise us from our deathly slumber. We reform around the word. We, the family of God, seeking to grow this family for God, for God's sake, seeking to live our lives as sons and daughters of God, brothers and sisters of Jesus. However our family looks, however our families may change, we are God's people, members of his church, receiving his grace and his forgiveness and reflecting it to the people we meet. Just some thoughts for us. We'll see you on Sunday. God bless you. Bye-bye.